So here we have the Ford Fiesta 1 litre EcoBoost Titanium on a 66 plate. I'm going to show you around the outside of the car first of all and then we'll hop in and I'll run through a few controls on the inside. As you'll see from the outside, it's a five door car with alloy wheels and tinted windows around the rear. Uh, let's start off inside the boot and then we'll work our way around the rest of the car from there. So you'll see as we approach the back of the car that we've got a 60-40 split folding rear seat and plenty of boot space on this car. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back round to the front of the car now before we jump in and run for a few controls on the inside. Uh, but as you'll see, now that we've done a full circle, it's in fantastic condition the whole way round. Just briefly before I climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. As you can see, the seats are in fantastic condition, as are the carpet areas. There's plenty to run from the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, so we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we've got the rev counter and the right-hand side, the speedometer with the fuel gauge at the bottom in the middle. Above that, you'll see the total miles for this car are 9,878. You can change the information displayed up on there by pressing the button on the end of the indicator stalk, should you wish to. Uh, backing out to the steering wheel, on the right-hand side, we've got cruise control and on the left-hand side, we've got stereo controls as well as voice activation for the phone. So uh, once you pair a phone up, Press that button in the middle and ask it to dial anyone in your contacts and it will do that for you. The phone itself is initially set up on this display in the middle here. So as well as where you, being where you set the phone up, as you can see, it's where the radio and all those sorts of things are. So this car's got AM and FM radio as well as DAB digital. Uh, when it comes to listening to other music, you have got a CD player, which you can see at the top of there. Uh, you can stream music wirelessly via Bluetooth as well, and there's a USB input, so a lot of ways of listening to music. This car also has satellite navigation. Just hit that button and it will come up on the display for you. Uh, beneath that is the climate control. So over this side is the fan speed. On the right hand side is the temperature. And then simply hit AC to turn it on or hit auto and the car will maintain the temperature that you've asked for uh, and it's displayed in that box. So if I hit that button, for example, you'll see the fan speeds will increase because it wants to get to that temperature as quickly as it can. You can override that at any point in time should you wish to. And that one there is for your heated front screen. Beneath that, we've got a button to turn off the stop and start technology. So this car is designed to cut out in traffic to save you fuel. If you don't wish to use that, hit that button and it will turn that system off. We have a five speed manual gearbox and then your 12 volt charging socket. So for uh, charging a phone, for example, and the USB input uh, so you can connect up and listen to music. So all that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, feel free to give any of our MJA sites a call. We look forward to hearing from you soon.